We're talking all sorts of sports Break it down in the lounge, of course Whether it goes down on the pitch or in the park Or on the diamond or on the courts We're talking all sorts of sports Break it down in the lounge, of course Whether it goes down on the pitch or in the park Or on the diamond or on the courts It's the Oddcast Sports Lounge 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 Hello, ladies and gentlemen Welcome to the Oddcast, UEFA Champions League 2019 Build Up and Break Down. We're going to be giving you four beautiful installments to get you ready and to keep you in touch with the UEFA Champions League Final 2019 Tottenham versus Liverpool. So first of all, we want to tell you where and when the match is at. June 1st, high noon, Pacific Standard Time, in Madrid, at the Wanda Metropolitano Stadium. That's where Atletico Madrid plays. All right. So just to let you know, the stadium has a capacity of about 67,000. It's going to be a crazy match. It's going to be a hard fought battle. So what we are going to do here on the Oddcast to get you folks prepared is first we're going to break down Tottenham, Spurs, FC. Then we're going to break down Liverpool, FC. Then we're going to break down the two together. And then on June 1st, again, high noon, 12 Pacific Standard Time, we are going to be going live while watching the match and providing you an alternate form of commentary to get it live from, you know, an alternative source rather than listening to it from a traditional pundit. So if you want to tune in, I would highly recommend you go to the Oddcast Podcast YouTube page. You can find it on www.theoddcast.live.live. And you you can subscribe right now. And you can watch us on June 1st when we go live and commentate this game. So just to give you a breakdown on what we're going to do for each team. So we're going to go through each team, Tottenham and LFC. We're going to go through the... Uh, EPL season, that's the English Premier League season for each team. Uh, Tottenham finished fourth, Liverpool finished second. Quite different seasons. Now, I feel that Tottenham should have finished higher. I feel Liverpool, you know, they, they, they had a miraculous season. Man City just had a better season. That's all you can really say. Pep Guardiola's side was quite masterful, quite clinical over the last uh, 12 matches, frankly. That being said, Then we're going to go into the UCL, UEFA Champions League pedigree for both of the teams. Now, both of these teams had really tough groups. Tottenham had to get through a group with Barcelona, PSV Eindhoven, and Inter Milan. Liverpool had to go through a group with Paris Saint-Germain, Napoli, and Red Star Belgrade which is, as we know, a very, very hostile stadium to play at. As are, you know, as are many, many away stadiums. Seriously, it's, it's, it's tough. So they both went through arduous tasks to get through the group stages, uh, both with quite phenomenal, uh, you know, theoretically shouldn't be in the finals stories to get here. And what we're going to be doing is breaking down the injuries, the formations, the elephant in the room, and you might get an appearance from someone who we on the Oddcast call Psychic Mikeic to give you some predictions of what might happen. Some X factors in the match, some things that we think might go down, and some things that we might have some insight on that uh, you know could give you an interesting perspective on the match. So please tune in through the build-up process. Uh, we wish nothing but the best of health for both of the teams, both of the managers, all the supporters, uh, and thank you so much to the viewers for tuning in to the Oddcast Sports Lounge, where we're going to be breaking down the UEFA Champions League Final 2019 Tottenham Hotspur, Liverpool FC Reds. Come on. Here we go. And folks, please leave us feedback. Let us know what you want to break down, and we would love for you to tune in live with us on the 1st of June at 12 noon PST when we go live. Get in that live chat with us. It would be so much fun to just chop it up with y'all. We really appreciate you guys. We really appreciate the support. Um, Listen, 
the final thing I want to give you each is a tidbit of both of the buildups. So obviously the main tidbit that I want to give you from our Tottenham buildup is going to be the differentiation of the formation based on if Harry Kane plays or doesn't play. Now, for all you who know football, who understand what I'm saying, you already know. For those of you who don't know football, that's totally fine. And what I mean by that is how does the formation of how the players are lining up change based on the availability of one of the star players on Tottenham. So he's been injured for the past couple of, I want to say better part of a month with, or month and a half, month I think with an ankle injury. So how does the lineup change based on his availability, right? And then for Liverpool, the tidbit that I want to leave you all with is chances, 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 they will be created, will they be taken advantage of? That is the time-honored question for Liverpool for the past couple of seasons. So we will see if they can take advantage advantage of those situations. And again, thank you so much for tuning in with us, the Oddcast Sports Lounge. Uh, and you know what? Love, peace, and chicken grease. We're talking all sorts of sports. Break it down in the lounge, of course. Whether it goes down on the pitch or in the park or on the diamond or on the courts. We're talking all sorts of sports. Break it down in the lounge, of course. Whether it goes down on the pitch or in the park or on the diamond or on the courts. It's the podcast sports lounge. It's the podcast sports lounge. It's the podcast sports lounge. It's the podcast sports lounge.